What is up, everybody? Welcome to Resident Evil 4 Remake! I'm so excited. I've been waiting a very long time for this game. I got the subtitles turned on for y'all. I'm not going to be talking much during the cutscenes. I got the subtitles on just in case I do. This is just a recap of what happened in Raccoon City and how Leon got involved in this project. So I'm going to go ahead and be quiet. I'll be right back once the gameplay starts. There's a little bit more to this intro than what was in the uh, Matt or not Mad Chainsaw. So tell me, young kid, why wow. did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, then. Huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be good. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. Maybe it's been that way for a while now. Well then. Should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Oh, baby, it's Resident Evil 4. I'm so stoked. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so... Uh, I'm elated. It's great. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. He still got to whip one out. Good for you. Te has bebido el bar entero? You smoke? What a guy, huh? Vaya sitio más tétrico. Hey! Hay alguien ahí? Be careful. It is kind of weird he would just wander away like that, though. He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. They're sending us out to take a look. Okay. Oh, well, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're here. Ah, we're finally here. Resident Evil 4. Y'all, I've been waiting for such a long time to play this game. What happens if we go back? Still here. Wow, this is a little different than the demo. I'm I'm actually in surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised that this changed that much. I wonder if that means that uh, enemies will be in different locations and whatnot. But all right, y'all, this is my Resident Evil 4 remake playthrough, and uh, we're gonna be doing it from start to finish. And I just want to let everybody know that uh, as we play through this. I'm, I'm going to be kind of gawking at everything. Um, this was one of my favorite games of all time growing up. And I 
definitely want to experience everything that there is to experience and explore everything there is to explore. And I'm sure I'm going to miss things through my playthrough. And there's definitely going to be many, many reasons to come back and play it again. So I'm, 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 I'm stoked for this, man. So I'm going to try to keep these episodes right around 30 to 40 minutes long. Um, and depending on the game's length, which... If I'm remembering correctly, based off of some of the reviews I saw, it, it can be completed in under 10 hours. It can be, it, it could take as long as, you know, like uh, 18 hours some people were doing it in. And I'm, I'm guessing that's when you're participating in all the different side quests and options and stuff like that. So I guess we shall see what happens. Oh man, that is so creepy. That guy just chilling behind the door like that. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. This guy's crazy. You know a key? At least in this version of the game, they give him a reason to go in and start killing people. <laughs> like in the first version, <laughs> in the original, I'm pretty sure we just come in and start hacking and slashing. Aya! Get out of here, buddy! <laughs> oh, this is awesome, man. I'm so happy to be playing this game and uh, playing it along with all of you here. I feel bad for that guy. He's just screaming in the basement. This is not good. No, this is not good at all. And this oh, isn't good either. Ew, it's stinky. I'm gonna stab him all. Alright, let's keep going. Some of these items, it's weird that you can't like collect them, like and take them with you. I guess you don't really need to. Go down into the depths of hell. What's going on behind this curtain here? Hello? Is there anyone here? I do wonder if the village section is going to be a little bit different in comparison to the demo. Hey. Oh, man. That is brutal. That is brutal. I read you. Whoops. What's your situation? <sighs> Alrighty, y'all. Now we're actually in this. I think for this first guy, I'm just going to do what I did in the demo, and I'm just going to run past him. I don't want to waste my ammo in this part. I'm going to... Whoa, we dodged that attack. Barely. Holy moly. We gotta get up out of this bitch. I think that guy's chasing me from the basement. He didn't do that before. Oh my gosh, that's scary. <laughs> They definitely know how to set the tone and the atmosphere in this. What are you buying? What are you selling? Bruce. This is Gondor One. For those of you watching right now, um they did announce that the Mercenaries DLC update is coming on April 7th, so it's not too far away. They'll give you plenty of time to try to beat this game before that happens, and then, who knows, maybe we'll make some Mercenary videos. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... My escorts have been murdered? Please? Hurry! They're coming! Okay. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> I do I do find it kind of weird they don't pursue. It's probably because 
they were directed not to. I'm guessing they're being controlled. Well, we know that they're being controlled by Las Plagas, but I'm pretty, pretty sure they know what's going on here. I am curious about the village section. I wonder if that part's going to be different in the sense where the wells are open. At least through the demo, we were able to uh, go down into the wells by discarding our entire inventory, if you remember that. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the case. And uh, so I guess we'll see what ends up happening. I wonder if the dog's going to be alive. In the demo, he was dead. Hope the dog's still dead. Crap. Missed the second bird. A ruby? This soon? Holy moly. Those birds can drop some good loot. We gotta kick those birds ass when we can. These guys are sneaking all around. Scaring me. I think we'll take these guys out. Kick you in the face. Whoa. Whoa, that was close. Wow, they're dropping, like, a lot of gunpowder. I figured when you pick up gunpowder, it would be, like, one little thing at a time. I didn't ex... Oh! Is the bear trap here? Okay. Ooh, I almost forgot about that. Come on out of there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. We got red herb. We got flash grenade. I wonder if uh, when we get to the El Gigante part, if there's going to be a uh, a flock of crows or a murder, if you will. I always loved throwing the flashbang at them. That way you can just take them all out in one go. All right, here we are. We are in the village. Oh my god. So I think I'm going to try to sneak a couple of kills in. And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and just start the fight. Get the shotgun. I'll get the uh, grenades. And I'm going to try to take out Dr. Salvador. I want to try to get his loot. I might do the knife method on Dr. Salvador. Because uh, that seems to be the best way to go about doing that. Oh my god, the chicken just attacked me. <laughs> the chicken attacked me. What the heck? I didn't even know they could do that. Oh shit. I don't remember that lady coming back here. Oh, okay, okay. wonder if I can... Oh, they saw me. The jig's up. They saw me. They did not like that. Oh, crap. There they are. Whoa. The other thing I'm going to have to learn to do is parry. Whoa. Run. No. Oh, God, already? They set the bear trap down. They got me all trapped up. They got the chickens attacking me. I'm going to try to collect some things before I go into the house. I don't want to... No, the wells are covered. Interesting. Oh, sh shit! I got into a bad pickle here. Okay. Oh, my gosh! I am getting annihilated out here. <laughs> Holy macaroni. I'll go ahead and use one of these green herbs. 
Oh, shoot. He grabbed me from behind. Throw him. Eat. Okay, into the house. Let's go get the shotgun. There's, there's groups of enemies here. Oh, man. I, I love it. I love this feeling. This feeling of nostalgia. This feeling of a new adventure ahead of us. Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me, dude! What the f What the hell, Scoop? Okay, I'm gonna grab ammo? Oh, that's the best thing! I just re realized we can actually take our time here because unlike the demo, we're gonna be able to stay in this area after this is all said and done. Oh my god, oh god, I tried to parry it, I accidentally quick turned. Ah, get out, I keep accidentally quick turned. Go, 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 no, he slashed me in the back as I'm coming out the window. What a lucky strike, bro. Okay. Holy moly, I need to heal. <laughs> they are messing Leon up. I was going to go for the knifing method. But um, I'm actually liking the shotgun. It's feeling pretty good here. Ow, he punched me in the face. I got to get used to this combat. It's so different. Run. Reload. Oh my. Ice! I heard him coming from behind and I couldn't get him off. Damn it. I tried to quick turn around. That's the thing about the sprint button. It's also attached to the quick turn button. But we got Dr. Salvador. He's gone now. gonna happen to that guy turning is he still gonna be under the control is he gonna come after me the bell we must follow the bell all right that was pretty i mean it was a little messy all right i'm admitted it was a little messy trying to get trying to get used to these controls still but hey we still did it i accomplished my goal of taking out dr salvador Hopefully, we'll still be able to collect his loot after this little uh, cutscene. And the rest of the loot around the village, because there's plenty of stuff that I have not picked up or explored. I'm so ready to push past this village, though. Ooh. So exciting. They locked it. They're like, sorry, this is a private club. You're not allowed in. Where's everyone going? Bingo. I'm glad they left that in, you know? Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Do you guys remember the announcer that used to say that? Resident Evil. Or oh, okay. Oh yes, the loot's still on the ground. No, Hunnigan, go away. Oh no, did I accidentally? Uh... Windmill. She wasn't talking. What's Copy up that. with that? What the heck? Her voice line is not working. That is weird. Emerald from Doctor Salvador. Go back and grab this stuff over here before it uh, despawns. 
And I gotta go check that area where I threw that grenade. Yeah, there's some stuff over here too. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that crap. Just got myself all messed up now. Poor Leon. Getting his ass handed to him. This is cool. Now we can just kind of navigate around the little village. Oh man, what a pleasant, pleasant day this is. I'm so happy when we get to play Resident Evil 4. By the way, guys, uh, if you're watching this and you've never watched my channel before, or maybe you have and you've uh, looked around some of the other videos I've done, I did an entire playthrough of RE4 on Oculus in VR. So if you wanted to see what that was like, I stick my hand in a bunch of shit. I kiss the merchant. I mean, it's pretty good. I, I got to say, it was probably the best playthrough I've ever done. At least I enjoyed myself. That's all that matters. See, I knew we can come around and collect all this stuff. I am curious about the well, though. I'm wondering if there's... If you could still do the secret, but there's a different reward down there. Or maybe you get early access to the TMP. I'm not entirely sure. That is a question that's up in the air. Definitely a lot of loot here, though. I remember I went up here in the demo and I was pleasantly surprised to see that there was some stuff to gather over here too. So got more shotgun shells, which speaking of which I'm going to go ahead and reload this. Oh my gosh, y'all. Can I just say, ah, it is so beautiful to be back in this here village. Oh my God. That just scared the ever living fuck out of me. Holy shit, I am not kidding. <laughs> Just scared the fuck out of me, dude. Ah, no, is that game going to be like this? Shit. Okay, all right, calm down. It's going to be fine. We got to find the key to that. It wasn't on the man that just came out of the wardrobe. I don't know. Dude, I didn't think there would be any other villains or enemies here. Whew. That, that had me. That actually got me good. I wonder if there's still things on the roof. Like, I remember there was ammo and stuff on the chimneys. I'm gonna go check this chimney and see if there's anything over here. Nope. I don't see anything. Alright, y'all. Let's make our way out of this village. And I I'm sorry if I'm just like... Like I mentioned, I'm, I'm kind of gawking at everything. I'm, I'm running around and looking at everything. Fucking... I'm killing this fucking chicken. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, too. They keep attacking me, assholes. Got him, though. But anyway, I'm sorry for just, like... That That definitely looks like treasure on the roof. I missed it. I guess I didn't go along the other side. But it's not sparkling like treasure, if that makes sense. Yeah, velvet blue. There it is. Cool. Oh! But yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna be playing this game like this. So sorry if you were looking for a speed run. This is not that video. This is not that uh that series here. Does anyone else play games like this where you just like feel like you need to explore every little aspect of? We got another ruby. All right, let's let's go ahead and move on. Let's go to the next section. Oh my gosh, we can do it. Oh, open the door, Leon. Open the damn door. There it is. The windmill. Wow, there's a... There's some stuff going on here in this here village here. Resources. I'll make a save just in case. Oh yeah, we can customize our case. I forgot about that. Holy moly. Okay. I don't have any charms, I guess. I had charms from the pre-orders. Eh, oh well. Save the game. I'm digging that... Uh, 
revised save room music. That sounded pretty nice. So weird. This is oh man, this is so different. I'm not gonna be sneaking around the entire time. The knife is definitely more durable than it was during the uh, demo. Oh, I see a medallion. Oh my gosh. I guess this would be the location where the medallion is. Whoa. If I shoot that, I'll alert them. I'm going to try to take out all the enemies and then we'll look for the treasures like before. There's a medallion. Yeah, that's cool. I like that that quick kill, stealthy kill. Guess it's blocked from the other side. Can I climb through the window? No. What do we got here? Okay, we need to. Uh, Get ourselves a piece to that puzzle. It's cool to see how they redid these areas because it's, you know, pretty different in comparison to what we had before. Is there an enemy in here with the cows? Nope, but there's another medallion. Look at that medallion. I love it. It looks nice. I guess I should start shooting some of these medallions, huh? One of five in this specific location, maybe? I guess I got to get this one through the window. Over Two of five. I can hear them in there. Like... I guess I can't climb up there. Three of five. Let's go get this one over here. Dirty pearl pen. Oh, crap. I wonder if there's a way to block that. And I didn't, I didn't even think about that. Can I use this? No. Guess not. Oh well. Oh, uh, is that the? I guess that just brings water from the well. Never mind. Oh look, there they are. How'd you get out? How'd she? Where'd she come from? I don't even know where she came from. It's weird. Destroy the blue medallions. Hmm. So the medallions weren't left by the merchant. They were actually left by the... The Ganados. That's an interesting way to, to loop things around. I saw some people complaining about how the box looks or the boxes look where they're basically like, oh, they make it very clear what you need to do in order to earn something. Like they put the yellow tape on the box in order to, uh, you know, show exactly what you need to do. But I, how else would they do it? Like they probably had focus groups. I'm guessing and the focus group people were like, um, I don't know where the stuff is. So can you put like a little tape on the box or something? That makes sense to me. This is so different. What's going on over here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
now we're behind this. Oh, is this where we get the stein? The flagon. Combining treasures. Let's see. Can we combine anything? Inlay gemstones. Yes, we can. Did we already complete it? Nope. I can just put two rubies in it? I mean, I guess that's kind of a interesting way to go about doing it. Okay. So you don't really need to have specific resources. You... I just heard something. I hear something evil. I don't like it. Is that the resident of evil? Okay, we got a kitchen knife. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! I'm not ready for that. That's that bull guy, that new enemy type that's actually quite strong. Oh, there's more enemies now. This just got interesting. Let's run this way. I guess if I was close enough, I could have kicked that guy. Leon, reload! <laughs> oh, man, this is getting crazy. Oh, boy. What an interesting development. The chickens have lost Plagas in them. I'm going to kill all the chickens. Whoa! Oh, run! Run! Dude, the pig is on my side. Yes, let's go, baby. I was going to try to attack him, but then the Ganados came for me. <laughs> that guy is kind of terrifying. I don't like it. Oh, he's gone. Got you too. I remember there were people talking about how that guy might like stalk everyone. And just follow you around and all that. I never really thought that would be the case. It never really made sense. Because we don't have like a Mr. X or something. That was terrifying. But now I know what to expect if I ever hear something doing that noise. At least they're being pretty generous with the ammo. Up we go. You know, I just remembered I probably could have just climbed the ladder and then, like, shot the guy off the ladder and had it, like, in a never-ending, repeating drop-down step or something. Oh, wow. I would have missed that medallion if I didn't come out that window. Speaking of which, there's one left in this area. Probably in this windmill somewhere. Because at least in the original game, it was on the windmill. The windmill's much smaller before. Shotgun. Don't mind if I do. I love that quick swap too. It's great. I'm just looking for the medallion at this point. Don't mind me. Alrighty, let's go on then. Oh. I almost missed more goodies over here. Wee. Alright. 
Back down to ground level. Check on this side really quick before we go through. I guess the good news is we're going to be backtracking through here. So we'll have an opportunity to come back and get that final medallion. But I'm guessing there's different medallions. Based off of the interviews, they said that there's going to be medallions in different uh, locations as opposed to uh, just one quest. It's going to be scattered throughout the entirety of the game. Or, I guess not the entirety, but certain sections of the game, rather. Which should be pretty cool. All right, I figured that wasn't going to be unlocked because of this pathway over here, but I just wanted to double check. Let's keep moving. There's the lifts. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can understand like the frustration from players where they're like, dude, it's just like a big yellow box. You can see exactly where the enemies are or where the, uh, the loot boxes are to break, but they got to do something to like, you know, show it or whatever. What does that say? Lake. Lake's got to be this way. There's a dead animal in there. I wonder if that medallion's on that bridge. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back. I'm not going to be uh, getting too crazy about the medallions and whatnot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even know what just happened. Holy moly. Did I just... Did I just miss my, miss my way to get through there? <laughs> okay. I just shot him in the belly and he's dead in one hit. Oh, I see. There's an alternate pathway. If that happens, okay. <laughs> what? I was about to say, how did that... If they were about to survive that, I was about to be very, uh, scared. Because they were landing right on their head off that cliff. Man, this is so strange yet familiar. <laughs> it's great. I'm so happy. I guess I can't kill those. I wonder if you could still knife him. Probably not. Oh, there's still a guy in there with a stick of dynamite, maybe? Oh, boy. We're in for a treat. He got stuck in his own bear trap. That's actually funny. I'm... Happy we were able to witness that. Oh my god. Throw it on over here. Oh, you can still shoot it. Yes. Whoa, the lost plagas coming out of his guts are crazy looking. Ooh. Quick turn to save the day, man. I do need to learn how to parry, though. Oh, shit. I should have tried to parry that. I didn't even think. Okay, got that one. Sweet. All right. I'm getting it down. That guy is just taking shots to the face right now. Wow. 
Wow. That was sweet. I like everything about that. Except I'm starting to run low on ammo because I was, ooh, being all willy nilly and all that. This Resident Evil game is also similar to um, the other remakes that they've made in the sense that by completing challenges in game, you earn points and those points can then be utilized to unlock bonuses. And that's got me super stoked because it adds so much replay value. Don't even do such a thing. Dude, she just, her neck just snapped in, in twain. I was like, is there still a guy in here? I don't know. I hear something strange. All these new sounds got me freaking scared. Oh. Run. Maybe that's the thing that I heard. Maybe it was that lady up there. Go up. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Sick. I know that I'm going past that 30, 40 minute point that I said, but, um, I'm just having too good of a time right now, y'all. So we'll take it to the hour mark for this first one. Why the hell not? We're having a good time. Might as well keep it going, right? Can I shoot it? Gotcha. Y'all, I know that I haven't saved recently. There should be a save point here somewhere. Should I try to like bait out? This the place. Del Lago or whatever. When we get there, I think I should try that. Here's another one. I need to find some of those little uh, inserts. Let me flip around the corner here because I did see that there's this too. This requires a key. Man, there's so many things to backtrack to. It makes me so excited. I do want to shoot the water and see if it comes and kills me just like the original. We'll do that. We'll do that after we see the main man. Hello? Is anyone here? Another lock. Oh my goodness gracious. It's a mystery. I love mysteries. That's cool that you could just do that. Okay. Usually with like pictures like this, you can, you know, manipulate it to a point where you can like find a secret or something but i guess not in this What's that noise? instance see like there's the yellow markings on that thing oh wait this is a little di this is a little different here now thought our main man would be in here. Is he not here? Not yet. Ooh. Very dark in here. Okay, let's go. Down this creepy tunnel. 
Oh, what the? What? This is how we find our main man? Whoa. I love that change. Things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just untie me then, huh? Because it, it makes oh, it man. seem. Not this guy. Who are you? Oh, no. Stop right there. What the? Oh, my gosh. That guy is scary as hell. Uh oh. No. No! Leon! Y'all, we're gonna end the episode right there. Holy shit, dude. This is awesome. Look at this. We got completion points. Very cool. Very cool. Holy macaroni, my friends. That was great. That was awesome. I'm so happy about this game so far. Cool. That's the first episode. Chapter end. We found our boy. We got infected. Things are a little bit different, yet familiar. And I'm ready for the next chapter. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next episode. Check out the playlist linked in the description below. And you'll see all the episodes as they're uploaded there over the course of the next week or two or however long it takes us to complete this.